Probably one of the greatest tragedies uh, in Christianity today, I believe, is the apostasy concerning the soon return of the Lord Jesus Christ. And I honestly believe that those among us here who are really looking for his coming and yearning for it would be absolutely shocked at the masses in Christianity today who no longer believe in the coming of the Lord. They have jettisoned that from their thinking and their theology. They are not looking for his coming. They are saying he will not come in my lifetime. Our teachings now saying he's, he may not come for centuries. And so they have put away and out of mind the truth of his coming. We are seeing fulfilled right before our eyes the warning of Peter, the apostle. There shall come in the last days scoffers walking according to their own lust and saying, where is the sign of his coming? Where is the promise of his coming? For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of time. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. Paul says more than once to Timothy, be sober, be sober, be sober. The end of the world is coming. Dear Lord, if it was coming 2,000 years ago, where are we tonight? Makes me wonder if he's coming for those who are not expecting him. He said, for those who look for him shall he appear the second time without sin unto salvation. There's a crown of righteousness waiting for all who are looking, yearning, loving his appearance. Watch therefore, for you know not what hour your Lord is coming. Come on, there's not much time left. I'm going into his eternal presence forever, so what if I suffer a little? What if I'm not like? No matter what happens to the society, if you have ever uppermost in your mind that Jesus is coming at any moment, any hour, as he said he would, this is a motivation to holiness. It's a motivation to keeping focused on Jesus Christ no matter what happens in your day and age. And we have a whole army of ministers in the pulpit today, preachers of peace, saying, Relax. You're okay. I'm okay. Relax. And because iniquity shall abound, escalate like an avalanche, the literal word, like an avalanche, nothing can stop it. It just escalates more and more and nothing can stop it. Because iniquity and lawlessness, literally, because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. The Greek, the love of the most. We profess Christianity. We were actually called God sin. It's happening right now, sir. In case you don't see. Because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax call. But he that endureth unto the end shall be saved. Shall be saved.